It's been a week of controversies at Bon Appetit. On Monday, Editor-in-Chief Adam Rappaport stepped down after a photo of him in a stereotypical depiction of Puerto Ricans surfaced online. Since then, many of the publication's editors have been supporting a call to action as more discriminatory complaints from staff followed as a result. Contributing editor Claire Saffitz posted an Instagram story where she acknowledged her implicit acceptance of the status quo and asked Bon Appetit not to release any videos of her that haven't aired until such issues are addressed. Senior food editor Molly Baz posted an Instagram story asking others to commit not to appear in videos until their Black, Indigenous, People of Color colleagues receive equal pay and are fairly compensated for their appearances. However, a new controversy rose on Tuesday when editor Alex Delaney apologized for previously making a cake decorated as the Confederate flag that resurfaced on social media platforms. A picture of the cake, which was found on Delaney's old Tumblr account, The Pantalones, began circulating around Twitter on Tuesday morning. There's an image of a cake depicting a Confederate flag that was pulled from my Tumblr when I was 17, Delaney wrote on an Instagram story. It goes without saying that this is a despicable symbol that a 17-year-old should understand. It does not reflect the values that I hold now. Delaney said he would be donating his next paycheck to the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund, as well as continuing to donate to the charities and organizations that are fighting for progress as frequently as I can. But the controversies wouldn't stop there. Condé Nast, which Bon Appetit is a publication of, continued to face controversy as their high-profile staff members continued to either make or be the subject of new allegations relating to race. On Wednesday, June 10th, old tweets by Matt Ducker, a vice president at the company, resurfaced. The tweets made fun of people of color and homosexuality. In a tweet thread, Ducker apologized for his past statements, writing that his words were inappropriate and hurtful. Ducker added that he was, quote, taking the necessary steps to make change, and I'm sorry to those I've let down. Roger Lynch, CEO of Condé Nast, released a statement on Wednesday in response to the recent events, saying that Bon Appetit's team will continue to make the changes needed to foster a diverse, inclusive, and equitable workplace. And I want to reaffirm that we do not tolerate discrimination, racism, sexism, homophobia, or harassment in any form in our workplace. We're not perfect, and we can, and we will, do better. It is not clear how these recent events will affect the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen YouTube channel, which has over 6 million subscribers. The last video on the channel was published on June 5th.